Hi, I'm Amber Poole, the Chakra Diva at thechakradiva.com, and today I'm going to show you how to do a third eye chakra reading using the Chakra Crystal Oracle Cards. And you can find these at my website at thechakradiva.com. So, your third eye. Your third eye is one of my favorite chakras to do because there's a lot of um, vision has to do with your third eye, but there's a lot of conversation around what does the third eye do. And uh, the psychic power, the psychic ability that it's connected to is clairvoyance. And we actually are able to tap into our clairvoyance very easily. And every time I do a reading for somebody, I describe it as this. You know when you read a book and you're reading it detail for detail, but you can imagine everything that's going on in your forehead. You know, like you can see things happening or experience things. So when you say, the boy picked up the brown shoe, I can visualize a brown shoe up here. And that's the space where your third eye is located. Now, besides doing psychic abilities, it also holds vision. Vision that's connected in with spirit, which is through your crown chakra and as well as it's below or it's in the middle of your third chakra. So your third chakra does the manifestations into the physical world to help you communicate these ideas. And then this one comes through with vision. Okay. How do you see a project from beginning to end? What does it look like to you? Also, it has to do with um, mental thinking. And if you're too much in your head all the time, you may experience headaches. All right, so you want to remember to ground yourself and use your other chakras as well. So today I'm going to show you how to do a third eye spread. And the first question is, what's my third eye look like, right? I don't know. So I have to tap in using my cards. <laughs> all right. So you want to call upon your guides, your team, your spirit team. Um, I always call upon my angels and my spirit team and um, God. And then I also call upon my highest self, my higher self. So there's a symbol in Crystal Reiki that we use to connect to your higher self. So before a reading, I connect to my higher self, I ground, and I also center. And those are three symbols that we use in Crystal Reiki. But you can use whatever um, whatever way you want to take that to ground and center yourself. If you can do that visually, do it visually. If you like using Reiki, use Reiki, whatever means it is for you to ground and center yourself. Because what you're doing is you're doing a reading coming from a place where um, you're not in your head, <laughs> right? Or you're not with your ego either, or and you're not um, influencing the reading. So when you ground yourself, you're taking your energy and you're pulling it all the way down to the ground and then you're coming back up to find center. So you're not in an emotional place to do a reading. You're not in a, um, an, an egotistical or an ego way of reading, but you're in a neutral space and that's where you want to do readings from. Because when you do a reading, you're being open to endless possibilities and you're connecting in with spirit, with divine. And when you do that, anything is possible, okay? So it's only us that limit ourselves. So please remember to call in your spirit guides, ground yourself, and center yourself. Okay. So what is the status? What does my third eye chakra look like? And I always mix these until one flies out. That is my traditional um, shake. <laughs> Shuffle. <laughs> Maybe that should be, that's correct. Okay. Next question is what am I learning in my do you see it? What am I learning <laughs> pop pop in my third eye? Uh, the following one is what skills do I need to work on? Fair. What skills do I need to work on? That's not supposed to happen. <laughs> it's not supposed to happen. Alright. But that was fine. So when that happens, I ask to reground and recenter myself. All right. What skills do I need to work on? That just humors me. See, this is when you know that I'm for real and that people make mistakes. All right. There we go. And the last question is, uh, <laughs> this is so funny. Wait till you guys see this reading because it's pretty funny. All right. And the last one is, what is the outcome if I do all the things that is out here on the board right now. What is the outcome for my third eye? Oh, my gosh. Oh. I do. I find this amusing. Interesting. 
Okay. So the first question is, what is the status of my third eye? And I got the root chakra, which is very interesting. So the root chakra is more like grounding work, right? So it means that I'm too much in my head, I'm too much in my mental thoughts, and that I really need to pull down my energies. So when you're, you receive the root chakra card, it's saying you're too much up here. It's funny because I just explained that to you guys, right? I'm too much in my head. I might be too logical and not using you know, my imagination as much, and that I need to pull it down and be more grounded. So to remind myself to pull down my energy in my third eye. The next one was, what am I learning? What, what am I learning in my third eye? What do I need to know? What messages do I have? And it was clairvoyance. Okay. So um, just like I was visualizing, picturing the brown shoe, it's saying continue to work when visualizing things. Continue to work on your clairvoyance and connecting in. The next one was what skills do I need to work on? And this is what makes me laugh. What skills do I need to work on? What do I need to work on in my third eye? And I got the earth star chakra. So the earth star chakra, and there's only seven, there's eight of these cards out of 54, right? So out of 54 cards, there's only plain Jane ones that say about the, the chakras. So it's saying, Amber, what do you need to work on? Being grounded. You're not very grounded lately, right? And all the cards just flew out of my hands. That's why I'm laughing because my energy wasn't very grounded. So it's saying, please, work on grounding yourself. Really, truly, work on grounding yourself. And <laughs> the final one is, what will I learn or what is the outcome if I follow all of this? So if I ground myself more, if I work on my clairvoyance, what is the outcome of my third eye chakra? And I got a third eye chakra card to trust. To trust in the universe, trust your messages, trust that um, things are going to go your way, <laughs> manifesting things, right? Because you're seeing the vision. You're seeing the vision of how you want things to work out and what you want things to come through as. So you, you're learning to trust. All right, so that's a quick and easy reading of how to decipher and go into your third eye chakra and really figure out what's going on. Mine apparently needs to be grounded. So I hope you enjoyed this. There's more readings to come. If you like me, like my channel. I hope you like me. But if you like my channel, um, please subscribe below. Thank you.